What are some dumb purchases you made? Lifetime Mega Video Subscription. It was shut down shortly afterwards for copyright infringement. Well, you get what you paid for. It was just that it was for Mega Video's lifetime, not yours. So many unnecessary things early on in college. It was the first time I had some kind of income from working a part-time job, so I thought it was absolutely necessary to buy all my textbooks instead of renting them or finding them online for free. I also spent a frickin' on dorm room stuff, which hardly anyone was going to see or care about since the dorms came furnished anyway. Lessons learned. I definitely pass on that advice to anyone going into college in the US. My partner went out to buy vegetables for dinner and came home with a kayak. He forgot the vegetables and the kayak has never been used. When I was 17 I had unknowingly saved up a lot $2000 from work. I chose to spend this on a double neck guitar. That's the most 17 year old with unexpected $2000 to blow purchase ever. My first time in Germany, I was only there for a few months. So I thought I don't need a barn card. I'm not here for a full year. Then I spent well over 1000 euros on train tickets. The whole time I could have been saving 50% and collecting loyalty points. I bought several sign language books because I wanted to make friends with a deaf kid at my school. I ended up learning a tiny amount before discovering he was a total creep who wouldn't stop staring at my feet. What? Bought $50 worth of Beanie Babies because I thought they'd be worth something. Also bad. Buying those plastic tag protectors, and an expensive giant case to display said Beanie Babies to keep them in pristine collectible condition. I traded a rather rare volume into a local used bookstore because I had two of them. Then went back to the bookstore a month later and excitedly bought my own book back because it was rare and I didn't think I owned it. I was wrong. I like to think the same employee that received it from you also sold it to you and was profoundly confused. I once spent $15 on a Postmates order for ice cream. Reminds me of when I ordered pizza because I wanted a soda. Deciding to go to grad school in 2012 minus 5 years after graduating for no other reason than I have no clue what to do with my life. Airplane Wi-Fi. So I could be browsing us credit right now. I've spent once 20 bucks on airplane Wi-Fi on a 12 hour flight, only for Reddit, no regrets. Bought Onishi for my Great Dane, don't know why I bought it but I think he liked it. A cactus that lights up. I bought a faceless doll to scare people, turns out I was the most scared one. Spent over $100 or more buying clothes for my avatar on a virtual reality game when I could have spent it on. You know, actual clothes. I've bought a lot of how to kits books, like how to knit, how to calligraphy, how to paint, how to write poetry, etc. Have I learned how to do a single one of those things? No, no I have not. How to google how to do stuff. I bought an $80 pen one time, I was about 8 years old, and was driving to Florida from NY with my dad and sisters. My dad is super showy, and I have no idea where he got the money, so at a rest stop, he handed us each a $100 bill and said get whatever you want, so I bought the pen for $80. He was not happy when I got back to the car. Getting home drunk and spending $15 on the Animal Crossing app. This has happened 3 times. I commissioned an artist to paint a portrait of my then girlfriend's dying pet rat. She had told me her rat was about to die a month before I got it. By the time it was ready, the relationship had ended and I didn't know what to do with it. I paid 90 for it and it was absolutely worth the price. Artist did an amazing job. I just didn't have anyone to give it to now. I ended up giving it to her anyway. I regret doing that since I probably just made her feel guilty. Thing is. I was fully aware we were about to break up. I just liked her so much and I was totally alone in a new state. I didn't think I was good enough to earn her love, so I tried to buy it. Real dumb. Honestly if it meant something to her, it wasn't dumb. A house in 2007. It's still not worth as much as we paid for it. My parents bought in 2004. Around 2012 to 2013 when I was applying for the FAFSA, it gave an error when I entered that their mortgage was more than the house is worth. $400 fish tank lighting. 
I wasn't carpenter enough to build the hood to mount it. It sits in the basement as a monument of my idiocy. In the past I convinced me parents to spend $500 for fish stuff. I don't know how they were convinced. I had accidentally doubled my dose of pain meds right before I went to go see a showing of the film Drive. On my walk home I ordered a pair of what I thought was the gloves Ryan Gosling's character wears in the film. A week later I got them in the mail and realized they were three sizes too big and are entirely different color. 160 bucks down the toilet. That night I took my Ambien and apparently decided to try again after staying on the computer after my sleep meds had kicked in. I bought the same pair of gloves. I thought I was buying a vintage Polaroid camera but when it arrived I realized it was a giant poster with a small picture of the camera in the center. An ex broke up with me. She was the first person I dated and didn't really know how to navigate the breakup so I bought her a really thoughtful gift for her birthday a month later. What a waste of money and time looking back on it. There's a lot of things I'd regret more than a gift for someone else. She obviously mattered at some point. This kills me every time I remember it and it's honestly made me into the extreme money saver I am today. When I was younger, my family visited Niagara Falls. I had $50, which is a lot for a kid with no job, and was excited to buy some souvenirs. I spent it all on keychains. I only got like 6 of them which made it to $50. They were all of the same place, too. It's not like they were from different cities. I wasted all the money I owned on freaking keychains. Who even uses those? It haunts me to this day. Not me, but my mom. She surprised me with a pair of fancy basketball shoes for my birthday, even though I'd never expressed any interest in such a thing, and I was neither cool nor athletic. I brought them to scout camp a few weeks later and lost one of them in the mud. They were original, size 11 Air Jordans, in 1984 or 1985. You are now banned from our sneakers. I'm usually pretty conservative with my spending but I have bipolar disorder and sometimes when I am manic I go a little nuts with dumb purchases. My two worst are probably a top of the line spin bike, which I had never tried before, for about $1000 and I resold for $300 once I was out of the episode, and I also convinced myself to join a hockey league. I spent $1200 on skates, pads, gloves, stick and helmet. I have never skated and I still haven't. All the gear is in the back of my closet and I cringe whenever I stumble across it. I bought an umbrella on a rainy day once from a cheap corner store that seemed like it was a hidden drug operation or something, and it broke that very day. 2 terabytes USB thumb drive from Wish for 5.99. Yeah I got what I paid for. $200 Gucci slides for my high school graduation. I bought Gucci flip flops because of rap music. They're the right size but they cut up my feet if I walk more than what I assume is 3x the perimeter of an average pool. Those claw covers for cats to stop them from scratching up your furniture. They were ripped off the next day. He was gnawing at his little feet until everyone was gone. Accidentally bought stuff in Clash of Clans. Twice. I knew a guy in high school who worked at Burger King part time just to exclusively fuel his Clash of Clans addiction. He legit spent his entire checks on that game. Wonder how he feels about it now. $75 in plants only to let them die because I forgot about them. There should be like an SPCA for plants. You know, some place you can guiltlessly drop off your mangy neglected plant. And after a week of it sitting sadly on display, it gets taken out back and gassed. I bought books when I was in first semester, later realized that I could have read online, so sold them after the semester. Reddit coins. A crappy mall car tanner. While I was on a date, no less. It was a first date, there was not a second. Extra incubators for Pokemon Go back when I still played it. Hey, come on, don't call me out like this. I went on a first date with a girl that I liked. We live in New Jersey and it was July so obviously I took her to the boardwalk. While we were there I saw a vendor selling hermit crabs, and my dumbass thought it'd be funny to buy them as a joke and try to impress her. I then realized after spending $30 on two crabs, two because one would get lonely, that I needed a proper setup. So we went to PetSmart and got a tank, 
food, sand, and a log for them to play on. Long story short I spent over $100 on hermit crabs and supplies. Not to mention that the girl completely friend zoned me, which is okay because now I have my two crabs pickles and jodges to keep me company. Well now you have a story about getting crabs on a first date. Coke, expensive, addictive, and dangerous all to feel a little euphoric and annoyingly chatty for 30 minutes at a time. Finally a TL, DR, description for the coke, thank you. Not me, but my brother once spent $50 on a fidget spinner. I regret every purchase over $20. My phone died in the middle of Times Square. I was there on a school trip and was alone for about 4 hours. I ended up buying a charger from a gift shop that was marked up to 50 bucks. I ended up paying 30, and it was the crappiest charger I have ever used in my entire life. I can still remember looking at the screen when it booted up to say, 9 hours and 30 minutes until fully charged. My first pack of cigarettes. Smoked for years and it's been 5 or so years since my last. The lack of flame alone is worth it, not to mention the money. I'm going to teach my kids about PC gaming so they never have money for drugs. I spent $900 at a strip club. I have so many. Maybe the personal training package and gym membership I kept too long because I felt awkward cancelling. I'm still fat. You've encountered the lost treasure of Captain Gus Fishhead. Subscribe to receive some of his gold. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.